In this video, I'm going to show you how to operate your Mead 114 millimeter telescope. First thing is you've got a power pack here. So we'll plug in with this little adapter on the end of this. It just makes it the appropriate size plug. Let's make sure the adapter is on the end of that. And then this has a simple on off switch here. Shows you how much battery is left. So leave it off. And we'll plug it in down here to where it says voltage, 12 volts. Plug that in. I just always set it down here on the tray. You also will have your AutoStar controller. That plugs in and out with this little connector into the port that says HBX. That stands for handbox. You can just leave these other two plugged in. They control the drives on the telescope. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure your telescope's level. You could buy a simple bubble level, put it on there, adjust your tripod legs until it's all level, and also make sure that your tripod legs are fully spread out. Okay, make sure you pull them apart so it's nice and sturdy. All right, once that's ready to go, you want to put your telescope in what's called the home position. For this telescope, that is going to be with the telescope tube level. This little knob here, you Unloosen it. So once you loosen that, you kind of get the telescope level. Again, you could use your bubble level to kind of do that front and back. And then tighten that down snugly. Don't over tighten this where you like break the plastic threads on it. And then you also can turn it this way. And there's another knob down underneath here that you tighten. So then whichever direction is north, you can put your phone on there figure out where north is. Let's just assume north is that way and we will lock this down. Again, so it's pretty well locked left, right, up and down. Then you want to turn on your telescope. Just use the on off button on the battery pack. That turns on. This will come on. Beep and say initializing. It gives you a warning. You always hit the speed button down here to get rid of the warning. It just tells you never look at the sun. Once you do that, it says getting started. And then it talks about for detailed instructions, see your manual, which you have. Then hit enter, it says enter today's date. Today is the 10th, so you just go up arrow from zero to one, go to the right, change that four down to a zero. And then December's correct, 2024 is correct, so hit enter. Let's just assume it's eight o'clock at night, otherwise you could change that, say enter. And daylight saving times are either going to be no or yes. Currently, um, after November, we're no longer in day daylight saving time, so you leave that no. Okay, and you can say alignment. Um, there's easy, one star, two star. Um, I would just suggest for now using like a two star alignment or one star alignment. I'll just show you how to do one star real quick. So one star, you hit enter, and it's going to say Put the tube in the home position, which is level and pointing north. We've already done that, so hit enter. Select the star. Um, let's tell you, it'll show you which ones are available at that time of night. So let's just say Vega. So that's going to say enter. So it's going to move to where Vega should be. So come over here. Then you want to make sure you have the cover off of the telescope in the front. Make sure the eyepiece little cover is off. So this is going to kind of go where Vega is roughly. Um, kind of depends because obviously your tube might not be quite level. You might not have had it perfectly north. So you want to look through the eyepiece finder scope here. And you'll see little crosshairs in there. And then you want to adjust. It says center Vega. So you adjust the telescope left, right, up, down. If it was a long way off, it's kind of in a slow motor speed right now. So you hit that speed button, and you can see it changes two times, eight times, max. We'll go down one from max. And then you can see if you had the center Vega, it goes a little bit faster. So once you get Vega centered, you hit enter, and it says align successful. And then you can select your object. So you say, and the key thing with this auto star is just remember that mode always goes back one screen, enter kind of goes forward. So you say select item, object solar system. And if you said, oh, I didn't want solar system, again, you hit mode to go back to solar system and you have choices using these arrow buttons down here. 
solar system, constellation, deep sky, star, satellite, user object. But we're just going to stick with solar system. And we'll say Jupiter. And it'll calculate where it's at. Then you say go to. And it will go to roughly where Jupiter's at. Again, these are older telescopes, so it gets pretty close. It may not be exactly there, so you'll have to play around and, and get it centered by looking at where Jupiter is, getting it in the eyepiece and the finder scope. But once it actually, you find it and you get it centered, it tracks it really, really well. Okay, so it's getting to where it thinks Jupiter is, and again, you would, once it finishes saying slewing, it'll beep. It's just making final little adjustments now. And then it shows the coordinates where Jupiter's at. This is where you could um, look through here, and if Jupiter's not there, Move it around a little bit to get Jupiter centered. And then a little trick is once you do get Jupiter centered, if it wasn't, um, you hold down the enter key for a few seconds, maybe three, four seconds, let go. It says enter to sync, you hit enter again. Now it's synchronized on Jupiter. So that's pretty much it. So you'd be Jupiter, the motors are running, so this, this Earth rotates and Jupiter kind of moves across the sky, the telescope will keep tracking it. If you need to focus when you're looking through here, this knob here is your focus adjustment. If you want to double the magnification, you have a, what's called a two times Barlow, just basically means it doubles the magnification. And this just goes, unscrew these little things for the eyepiece, pull your eyepiece out, put your eyepiece in the Barlow first and tighten that, and then put that back in the tube. And I'm not sure how far Floydus goes in. It should go in all the way. Once it just kind of gets seated in there, to tighten that down, and you have to adjust your focus with the bar over there. And that will get it twice as large as the object. Uh, when you're done with the telescope, all you have to do is basically turn it off using the Power button on the battery, turn that off. Make sure you put your caps back on. Take the Barlow out. Put the eyepiece back in. Cover up the eyepiece cup. Cover up the front of that. And then for carrying this, don't carry it by the tube. You could kind of damage the motors and that. But this metal U-shaped thing here is perfectly easy to carry it by. So you can carry it around by that, put it down. I usually just leave the controller on the same little tray as the battery and you can just pick it up by this U-shaped thing and move that in and out of the house. Hope that helps you learn how to use a telescope.